What is something you started doing because you saw another man do it? Saw this in our ask women and I thought we should share too. I do 100 push-ups, sit-ups, and air squats as well as 50 pull-up chin-ups 25 and 25 every day. I worked landscape with this old guy and he was in amazing shape. He was legit almost 80. I asked what his secret was and he said that's what he did so I've been doing that for about 7 years now and I've never felt or looked better. Also, I keep Tootsie Roll Pops in my truck for long drives. Helps fight any sleepiness. Learned that from my pappy. Putting my takeout leftovers in the trunk instead of letting it ride in the car. Total game changer. First time I saw my friend pop his trunk when we were leaving a restaurant. I was like what are you doing? His response was perfect keeping my car from smelling like the restaurant's dumpster. Commuting by bike to work. I rode the bus and saw him riding several times. Once. It was in a lorry G pouring rain. He was all geared up and seemed comfortable. So. I decided that if he could do it in bad weather. I'd do it in nice weather. Now. I do it all the time. Regardless of weather. I really like it. Edit in line. Using the shoulder press machine the right way. I saw a friend of mine using a blow dryer on a mosquito bite. He claimed the heat killed the proteins in the bite that caused it to itch. Tried shit I went 45 years in this life without knowing this? Works like a charm if you don't burn yourself. I don't know if this counts. I accidentally cut a guy off on the interstate on my way to work. He speeds around in front of me and rolls down the back window of his tundra to flip me off. I was so impressed that the entire back window rolled down that I bought a tundra. Didn't really see but more like was told. When I started my first job auto parts store I was very eager to please and put a bit too much. Effort even though I sometimes did not know exactly what I was doing. As you can imagine. This sometimes led to screw-ups. I was told that if it's getting to be too much during a rush. The next time I go into the back to get a part for a customer. To just take a few minutes to breathe and relax. My over-eagerness and feelings of stress went down significantly. Wrapping my cables properly. Putting powder on my balls. Saw a guy in a locker room do it, and it damn near changed my life. Playing YouTube videos to put me to sleep quicker. Flooring. I thought it was out of my skill set until I saw a contractor do it. Alton Brown. Chef John. Gordon Ramsay. Sam the Cooking Guy. And Adam Ragusia have certainly taught me a lot. Lifting weights. Not so much a single man. But knowing that's usually how you build muscles. I wanted some of that muscle stuff. I'd always been taught not to cross my legs. As it was too feminine. It is quite comfortable for me I know some men can't because of their balls. Jean-Luc Picard of Star Trek crosses his legs in the same manner I did. There's no mistaking his masculinity. It made me feel comfortable doing it as well. Plus. Earl Grey tea is damn good. Eat peanuts whole, shell on. I decided to model my sense of fashion after Patrick from Schitt's Creek because I thought it was the perfect combination of stylish and subtle. Before that it was nothing but ratty flannels and old jeans which is stylish in its own right. But mine were pretty bad. Wanting to come on my wife's face. I'm not sure I'd ever have discovered that as something I wanted to do if it weren't for watching. Men in porn doing it. But hot damn. I love ruining her makeup haha. -ha. Wrapping cables properly. Basic to intermediate service on my cars. Focusing my mind before a heavy lift. Give other men the nod not just black guys. But all guys. Seems to give a sense of brotherhood even amongst complete strangers. Labeling car parts when performing maintenance. I was ordering a sub sandwich at Publix. 
The guy in front of me asked them to hollow out the bread. That's like one three of the carbs in a sub. 150 calories or so. I was upset that I never thought of that idea on my own. Game changer. Most of my social skills were developed this way. Fuck my GF. Take responsibility for his actions. Nod and subtle wave with one hand when I walk past someone on the road. My dad did this. Michael Jackson made me wear jean everything. Think eight-year-old in punk. Patched up jean vest and pants. It lasted for about a few years. Worn jeans ever since. Not so much the patches and vest. Shake my wiener at the urinal to get the last drops off. Investing in my wardrobe. I bought a flat cap because I thought my new German cousin looked really good wearing one. Turns out I do too. Chopping firewood when I was seven because I saw my father do it. Wearing my pants a bit lower so my boxers stick out a bit. I always tip co-check people or others like that. Especially when I don't check my coat. I'll say something like, I'm sure someone stiffed you. This is to make up for it. And slip them five bucks or whatever. People around me love it and it always makes the coat check person laugh. It's a great look. Not watched but I saw a Reddit thread detailing the taint press. Now no dribbles have occurred since. I didn't see any other man doing it. But was told about it. To clean your pee pee after peeing. I pee sitting down because I don't have legs. So I don't have much room to shake it. So a friend told me even if he pees standing up, he will clean his pee pee with toilet paper so no drops get into his underwear. Play guitar so many people got inspired to pick up music watching their favorite bands. Making soft scrambled eggs. Wearing my snapbacks backwards. I know some people think it's douchey but I always wear them that way now. Never fitted hats though. Those have to be forward-facing. Succeeding. German volume training for both large and functional muscles. I saw my dad dip multiple fries at once into ketchup and eat them at the same time. I've been doing it for years. Wouldn't ever go back. Other guy stopped responding to messages from anyone co-workers. Romantic interests. Parents. Etc. All of a sudden people were really interested into talking to him often. Seriously. Try it. Girl or guy playing you and not giving you time of day. Don't respond when they message you. Respecting all women around me and seeing them as an equal not someone who is there to serve me. My father doesn't say much b he shows me every day with his actions the caliber of a man that he is and though he doesn't come from wealth and he had a semi-absent father he didn't let that harden him. I strive to be as poised as he is. Digging a hole. It just woke something up in me and I felt the call to action. Saving more money. Cracking my knuckles without using the other hand. Saw a guy do it in like 1996 and have been doing it ever since. People are sheep-like. It's why nobody will go into an empty restaurant. Approach women in ways successful. Eating a candy bar with a fork and knife. Using this foamy roly things at the gym. Taking care of my beard. Break an engagement. Honestly I haven't had many good male role models in my life. So a lot of my life entails doing things that other men should have done but never did. A big one is being emotionally intelligent and actively listening to people. Almost everything I do for my family I do because of the example my father set me. Masturbate. 